Hey, who's here? Hey, bud. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Hello, Felicia. Hi. Trouble? It's just a wrong number. I'm gonna bring this stuff downstairs. Excuse me. What can I do for you? While I was at Lucerne, I thought I'd take the opportunity to drop by and see how you're doing. You're not going into the office? Mm, I'm consulting on a special project, which means I'm in the field. Oh, I hate that phrase. What, in the field? Well, wouldn't it just be a lot simpler to say that you're not going in today? Oh, I'm working at ERQ, and there's nothing simple about that. Don't misunderstand me. I'm very grateful for the job. But ERQ has its own complications. Chief amongst them being Tracy Quartermain. You couldn't pay me to work for ELQ. <laughs> well, nobody else was beating down my door, and it seemed like a good idea at the time. You will make it work. I hope so. But you know, I always associated the Quartermains with darling Lila. Huh. It never crossed my mind to think about deadly Tracy. I feel kind of sorry for Tracy. She's worked her tail off to make ELQ a success. And how does she get paid for it? AJ just takes it away from her again. Well, there was a rather prominent article about Tracy and ELQ getting in trouble with the SEC. It isn't the first time that an quarter main has engaged in something shady. Oh, you've got a point. <sighs> anyway, Tracy can be very abrasive, but I think that she's had to be in order to keep her place in the family. So you approve of her tactics? I just think she deserves a little bit more than what she gets. Oh, don't worry. I have no intention of crossing her. Although, I think I may already have. Uh-oh. What have you done? I borrowed something from her, and I think she may want it back. You borrowed something from Tracy? Oh, no, don't, don't tell me. <laughs> I have enough on my mind without getting pulled into the latest round of quarter mania. Yeah, your sunny smile has a cloud over it. Is that anything to do with that wrong number? It was Frisco. Oh, I'd heard he's back in town. I haven't had the chance to reconnect. Oh, yes, that would be a good idea, reconnect. Take his time, keep him busy. In fact, since you have the day off, maybe you could take a trip to Manhattan with him. You could hit a few bars, you could take in a show. I sense you have mixed emotions about Frisco being here. He's Maxie's father, and he has every right to reach out to her. Are you concerned about Maxie? Absolutely. But the truth is, I'm avoiding Frisco. And I'm avoiding telling Mac about Frisco. Because Frisco wants me back. I should have never sent that message. I mean, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. Maxie's pregnant, and I just thought Frisco should know about it. But <laughs> it never occurred to me that he would actually show up. What, just not even to see his daughter? Frisco's children have never been his priority. Not even in the top ten. Supporting Maxie is just an excuse to come back. He's here to win me back. Well, I only recently found out that you two had been estranged. Oh, Duke, it's more than estranged. We're over. We've been over for years. I'm committed to Mac. And Frisco just won't accept that. He says that I'm wasting my time, and there's just no comparison to the relationship that I have with Mac to what I had with Frisco. Well, is Frisco wrong? Does it compare? I realize that it's different, but uh, I understand what it's like to want to be reunited with the woman that you love after being separated for many years. Well, you never made the choice to leave Anna, like Frisco made the choice to leave me and our daughters. Mm. Turned out that he didn't want a family. His commitment was to his job, and that's his choice. Some marriages just don't work out. I have very fond memories of you and Frisco. Although, I do remember you always seem to be star-crossed. Well, you see, that's the way he seems to be now. He's sort of stuck in the past. It's like it just, it, it never changes with him. It's all one big adventure to him. And for me, I'm, I'm just not that woman anymore. Well, you've moved on. Well, I tried to make it work at my family's expense. 
I left Maxie and Georgie with Mac while I ran after Frisco. Georgie's gone now, and there's nothing that I can do to make up for the time that I've lost with her. But I'm trying with Maxie. And she wouldn't even let me do that if it wasn't for Mac supporting me and forgiving me. Mac took me back. I guess that's it, then. You gotta tell Frisco in no uncertain terms that it is over. Unless it isn't. Frisco and I have a history, and we have memories. But you know, you can't have a relationship with someone who's always running off, or someone who's always dodging bullets. <laughs> yeah, I can certainly see where that would be problematic. But Frisco's important to me. More important than Mac? You can't avoid this confrontation too much longer. You gotta make your mind up about your feelings before Frisco forces you to. Do Lavery. Well, you are looking good, my friend. You don't look so bad yourself. How are you, you unrepentant adventurer? <laughs> well, here we are after all these years. Like nothing's changed. Looks like quite the reunion. Well, unfortunately, I have to leave. No, I mean, you just got here. Don't you want to get caught up? Well, some other time. I'm afraid this is one confrontation that I cannot put off one minute longer. Don't be a stranger. OK. Ah, using the front door for a change. Well, anything for you, Tracy. I'm so glad to hear you say that, because I've been thinking about your visit here last night. Yes. Well, you said something about uh, ketchup. No. Relish. Well, I'm a Marmite man myself. Yes, well, this was a very special jar of relish, and it's gone missing. And um, in fact, the last time I saw it was right before you arrived. Well, far be it for me to cast any stones, but you think it's maybe possible that uh, Alice may have had an accident? No, or... she passed a lie detector test. In fact, I've ruled out all of the suspects except one. Oh, well, about that, I, um, I... My nephew, A.J. A.J.? Yes. He has made no secret of his relish envy, and I believe that he used his familiarity with the premises to filch the key and steal the relish. And who better to steal it back for me than a man who just last night exhibited a perfectly larcenous skill set? Thank you, I think. But, I mean, to steal relish? You... It pays very well. So, I would like you to come work for me. Unless, of course, you found more profitable employment. Hey. hey. I uh, caught a glimpse of Elizabeth as she was heading off. She was definitely checking you out. <laughs> hey, so what happened? Not good, I'm afraid. Tracy believes that you pinched a relish, and she's hired me to pinch it back. And I don't think I'm going to be very successful. Oh, this day just keeps getting better and better. Because once Ellie and Star crack the code, it's gonna be all over with the shouting. 